Hey guys, it's Sapir and welcome to Python tutorial number 23. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at the dict function. And now I say function, but let me quickly expa explain if I haven't already said before. Uh, the dict function, um, like the string, list, and tuple, and uh, int function, and all those other functions, isn't actually really uh, classified as a function, okay? Because uh, dict, like string and all those others again, is a type. Uh, but we call it a function because it works a lot like a function. You know, we give it something and it spits basically something back out. Okay. So for our purposes, it's a function, but technically not really. Okay. Anyways, open up the idle, and there are three ways to create dictionaries with the dict function. Obviously, that's what it does. If you uh, weren't aware, the dict function. Uh, we give it something and it gives us back a dictionary, okay, with the information we supplied it. So I'm just going to uh, use d as my dictionary variable, and I'll say it's equal to dict. Now the first way, the first um, thing I'm going to show you we can supply it is uh, a tuple. Now because the dict function, in this case at least, only takes, um, <coughs> excuse me, it only takes one argument, in this case, anyways, because we'll come on to something in a bit which uh, differs slightly to that. But in this case, it only takes one argument. So you wouldn't just have um, your key value pairs like this, okay? You'd have to enclose them in a larger tuple. Let me first close that one. Then we're going to open our large, our enclosing tuple. And then we can start typing in. Um, in uh, separate tuples inside the enclosing tuple. Um, sorry guys, I had something in my mouth. Uh, inside the enclosing tuple, we can start typing pairs, uh, which are those key value pairs that we have in dictionaries, and they have to be in individual tuples as well. So for instance, in my first tuple, I could have name is Chris as one tuple, then one tuple inside that tuple. And I could have age is 13. Okay, and now we've got two tuples inside our enclosing tuple, which is the one argument that's going to go to the dict function. And if I run this now, and I just print out d, you can see we've got those two key value pairs. And Pyth uh, Python managed to work out this one tuple is uh, one key value pair, and the other is another. Okay. <coughs> okay, <clears throat> so as well as supplying it um, tuples, we can also supply it lists, okay? Now, um, obviously you can have anything inside the list, so I could actually leave this like this. I could have tuples inside the list, and this will work as well. If you look at D now, still the same thing. Uh, if you wanted to be neat about it, you could do this. Whoops. Uh, there we go. And don't really have that space. Okay. And that works too. Okay. And there we go. <coughs> and again, vice versa. With tuples, we can have lists inside tuples. So we could do this. Okay. That's also legit. Uh, this isn't really info on the dict function, it's more, you know, general tuple and list information. But anyways, there we go. Um, now, obviously we can also supply this a dictionary, and it will just give us back that dictionary. So if I did something like this, uh, ages to 13, yeah, name is to Chris, okay. And if I give it that, and it will just spit back out exactly the same thing, okay? Uh, and the final thing we can supply is more than one argument, but um, it's special because let's let's just go ahead and look at what we have to do. We actually supply um, the arguments as keyword arguments, and the key uh, to the argument will be whatever we want the key to be inside the dictionary and then the key is equal to whatever value we want that key to be assigned to in the dictionary. 
So if I wanted to make the same tuple I have here, I would do something like this. Age equals 13. Name equals, or actually I should probably capitalize those. Age equals 13. Uh, with the space if you want to have that there. Uh, and name equals um, Chris. Now don't worry about putting quotes around these keys, okay? Because Python automatically works it out. And actually, if you put quotes around the keys, I haven't tried it, uh, but I'm guessing it probably won't work. Okay, so don't bother trying it because Python works it out anyway. It doesn't need you to tell it. And here you can see we've actually got two arguments. So only when you're making a dictionary with the keyword arguments um, inside the dict function can you have more than one argument. Otherwise, you have to supply the whole thing inside a, an enclosing tuple, in, you know, or otherwise a list, etc. Okay. Uh, and now, if I run that, and I look at D, again, we've got those two things, and you can see we did get the quotes around name and age. Just to prove it, <clears throat> I'll change this to a lowercase n, and this to a lowercase a. Now if we look at dict, it, if, if we look at D, uh, it has those as lowercases like we told it to here, okay? Anyways, guys, that's it for this tutorial. Over and out.